welcome to St. John's Cathedral. My name is Blair Martin. I'm a member of the Cathedral's Labyrinth Circle. Usually on the first Sunday of the month, following our 9.30 Choral Eucharist, we hold a guided labyrinth walk, a meditation and liturgy. However, for most of 2020, the pandemic has made this impossible. We have been offering the labyrinth walk via this method, a recording which you can now see on YouTube. And we will continue to offer that recording until we can safely gather together under an approved COVID safe plan to allow us to walk together on the labyrinth. At the time of recording, we are experiencing one of Brisbane's great thunderstorms that happen from late spring through the summer months. And we are being gifted with an immense downfall of rain. So we begin by thanking our Creator for this gift of life-sustaining water around us today. Before I commence the liturgy, I will acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land on which I am today, the land of the Turrbal and Yagara people of the Yugara nation. I acknowledge their elders, past, present, and future. I acknowledge that the land and the waters of and around this land are theirs. Sovereignty was never ceded by fair dealing, treaty, or any just and honest means. This is their land. It remains their land. Sovereignty has never been ceded. Wunya. In the language of the Yugara people, welcome. For this month of November, our Labyrinth Walk commemorates the festival of All Hallowtide, comprising the feast days of All Saints on the 1st of November and All Souls on the 2nd of November. These two great festivals allow us to commemorate all who have gone before us. They also allow us to remember our loved ones, whom we no longer see in the flesh, but are always with us in spirit. This great festival of All Hallowtide coincides with an ancient Celtic festival Sawan. Sawan in the Celtic language meant summer's end, as it was a time when the seasons were changing. The days were growing shorter, the nights longer, and darkness enveloped the land. But it was also acknowledged a time when the gap between the worlds, our very mortal world, and the world beyond was very, very small. Gossamer thin, some called it. And so, at this time of the changing of the seasons, even though it's not summer's end here in Australia, but summer's beginning, we still acknowledge that this is a time when this world and the next are very close together. You'll be able to walk this labyrinth with me via a finger labyrinth, which you can download. Our labyrinth here at St. John's is a seven-circuit Chartres labyrinth, based on the famous labyrinth in Chartres Cathedral, France, from the High Middle Ages. You can also download the liturgy notes that have been prepared for this walk. There is no right or wrong way 
to walk a labyrinth. Use it however best suits your needs. Take what cares and what worries and troubles and concerns you have into the labyrinth and allow the Spirit of God to take them away. This season of All Hallowtide allows us to remember one of the great truths of our Christian faith, that Jesus of Nazareth, the Messiah, the Christ, died, was buried, descended into the netherworld and crushed sin, death and the devil forever, rose again in new life and ascended into glory. So now, I ask you to follow the liturgy with me. Please say the words in bold type with me as well. The veil is gossamer thin. Between the worlds material and spiritual, between the now, the was, and not yet. Please say these words of William Penn with me. Life is eternal, and love is immortal, and death is only an horizon, and an horizon is nothing but the limit of our sight. A sonnet of reclamation for the Feast of All Saints by Malcolm Geit. Though Satan breaks our dark glass into shards, each shard still shines with Christ's reflected light. It glances from the eyes, kindles the words of all his unknown saints. The dark is bright with quiet lives and steady lights undimmed. The witness of the ones we shunned and shamed, plain in our sight and far beyond our seeing, he weaves them with us in the web of being. They stand beside us even as we grieve the lone and left behind whom no one claimed. Unnumbered multitudes he lifts above the shadow of the gibbet and the grave to triumph where all saints are known and named, the gathered glories of his wounded love. commence our walk and time of meditation together, please say the words in bold type with me in response to this prayer. Worship God in the grandeur of creation, God's majesty in the pounding waves, God's strength in the wind. God's creative work in the volcano, God's destructive work in the tsunami, God's love in the flickering fire, God's emptiness in the desert, God's constancy in the seasons. Worship God. Give thanks. Make peace. Now, would you walk the labyrinth with me?
is time to close the labyrinth together. This text from John's Gospel is for All Hallow Tide. Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, the hour is coming and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. Do not be astonished at this, for the hour is coming when all who are in their graves will hear his voice and will come out, those who have done good to the resurrection of life, those who have done evil to the resurrection of condemnation. To close, a sonnet for All Souls Day, A Beatitude by Malcolm Guide. Blessed are the ones we overlook, the faithful servers on the coffee rotor, the ones who hold no candle, bell, or book, that keep the books and tally up the quota. The gentle souls who come in, do the flowers. The quiet ones who organize the fate. Church sitters who give up their weekday hours. Doorkeepers who may open heaven's gate. God knows the depths that often go unspoken amongst the shy, the quiet, and the kind, or the slow healing of a heart long broken, placing each flower so for a year's mind. Invisible on earth, without a voice, in heaven, their angels glory and rejoice. To close this time together, let us say the prayer of St. Columba of Iona. This prayer works well with an ancient ritual known as praying the body ancient mystics, Christian, Jewish, and others have all used this as a way of connecting the prayer with our very own being. Each part of the prayer has a particular action, and so we start with prayerful hands, my dearest Lord. The next line is be thou a bright flame before me. So raise the hands to the head like a flame. Be thou a bright flame before me. Then we're asking, be thou a guiding star above me. Raise our hands to the sky. We then say, be thou a smooth path beneath me opening our arms wide to accept that smooth path. And then bring our arms around, grasping ourselves on opposite shoulders. For be thou a kindly shepherd behind me. And then back to the start, this day and forevermore. We'll practice it together and then say the prayer of St. Columba of Iona. My dearest Lord, be thou a bright flame before me, be thou a guiding star above me, be thou a smooth path beneath me, be thou a kindly shepherd behind me, this day and forevermore.
my dearest Lord. Be thou a bright flame before me. Be thou a guiding star above me. Be thou a smooth path beneath me. Be thou a kindly shepherd behind me. This day and forevermore. Amen. Thank you for joining us and joining me on this walk. I pray that you will have an insightful and rich All Hallow Tide. We will meet again on the first Sunday in the month of December. As the COVID restrictions may change, we could well be gathered here underneath the rose window at St. John's Cathedral to walk together. If that is not possible, we will walk a labyrinth walk for the season of Advent through this method. Thank you. And may the peace of God be with you.